Okay. So how was your hike this morning? Good. It was good? Do you have any nice views on that Buck Run Trail? No? Huh? Oh yeah! Awesome! Awesome. So, um, have you been involved with Alder or the Appalachian Trail Museum before? No. Is, so this is all new to you? Yep. So you visit the Alder booth and find all, out all about Alder. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Our numbers. Finally. I, mine was 375. Okay. What was yours? 380. 380. 379. Uh, 3.76. So did you folks have a good hike this morning? Oh, we did. Yes, we did. Most enjoyable. Good. Did you see any game? No, any wild? Saw wild turkey. Saw wild wild turkey? Wild. Awesome. Did you enjoy your hike today? Oh, it was great. Awesome. Are you a member of a trail club? Uh, Keystone Trails Association and uh, there's a couple other ones too. So do you do maintaining on the trail? I, I'm planning a trip. I'm planning to go in the middle of July to Mid-State Trail and do some trail okay. work. Awesome. Thank you for your contribution to the trail. Alright, thank you. Great. And then get your patch. You've got a patch and register right there. Yay! Woo! Are we making So you ladies, are you part of a trail club? Yes, Susquehanna, Susquehanna Hiking Club, and you're part of Girl Scouts. Oh, wonderful. Girl Scouts. It's a perfect combination. So, right. so you're volunteering today to yes. greet the hikers. We're greeting the hikers. We're the hikers. You're doing a great job. Well, thank you. Hi, I'm Josh Montanari, uh, Park Ranger 1 at Pine Grove Front State Park. We're here for the grand opening of the Appalachian Trail Museum. Uh, the Appalachian Trail Museum is housed in our old mill building, which is a part of the facilities here at the Furnace that ran from 1760 to 1895. Uh, we think it is going to be a haven for hikers to come, as we are by the halfway point of the entire Appalachian Trail from Maine to Georgia. Uh, we believe it will really increase awareness not only of the Appalachian Trail itself, but of the history we have at the park. And we are looking forward to the partnership we are going to have with the Appalachian Trail Museum Society. Thank you. Very well. Hi, Red Wolf. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Alda and the Appalachian Trail Museum and how you're involved? I'm Robert Hall, Red Wolf for the Smokies. Uh, I'm a board member of the Appalachian Long Distance Hikers Association, Alda. I'm also the membership secretary for the Appalachian Trail Museum. Uh, Alda uh, focuses on the hiker community. All, all the hikers, the facilities along the trail that serve hikers, and friends and supporters of hikers. In that manner, we want to save our history of our members and what we've done through the years. And so we've supported the uh, formation of the Appalachian Trail Museum. It's a place to, to save our heritage for future generations. My personal hope, and I think it will actually be the fact, is that uh, as the Appalachian Trail has always been through volunteers, and the museum has come to be because of volunteers. As long as there's a trail, there will be the Appalachian Trail Museum. All right, thank you, Red Wolf. You're certainly welcome. Thank you, Mary.
place else because it's our end of the year banquet. Okay. But we meet upstairs. There's a community room at the Camp Hill Giant right there. And you know where Camp Hill is, yeah, don't you? Right. So it's right upstairs and we meet. Usually it's like a thurs third Thursday of the month or four times a year. I didn't know it was upstairs there. Oh, you didn't? No. Yeah, if you go in the store and turn to your left and they have that little eating area yeah. right there. Okay, then if you go past that, you'll see the kitchen area and the bathrooms and there's a little stairway right there that goes to the upstairs and they have like three huge community rooms oh, okay. and they allow community groups to meet there for free. Oh, all right. So that's how we got there and it's really a nice meeting. Um, let me see, actually the next one is uh, probably... Uh, my name is Jim Foster and I'm uh, president of the Cumberland Valley Appalachian Trail Club. We maintain uh, approximately 17 miles of the trail in the Cumberland Valley. Uh, our section extends from South Mountain to uh, Blue Mountain. It goes through the town of Boiling Springs and it goes between the towns of Carlisle and Mechanicsburg. Our club is one of the newer clubs on the AT. We were created in about 1991 uh, when the Cumberland uh, Valley uh, section of the AT was taken off the roads. Uh, it was previously a road walk and now it's, it's a walk through meadows and farm fields and things like that. Uh, our our uh, section of the trail is, is one of the easiest on the whole AT, but it's also one of the most accessible and heavily used. We get everything from, from true hikers to day hikers to families with small children who come out uh, to, uh, to hike on our section because it's so accessible and so easy. Uh, and, uh, we, we're a relatively small club, but uh, we like to think that we do one of the best jobs of maintaining on the entire uh, AT. You can certainly find out more about our club at our website, and that's uh, www.cvatclub.org. My name is Kurt Ashenfelder, and I'm the executive director of the Keystone <laughs> Trails Association. And we're an advocacy group to help protect, preserve, and promote hiking trails in Pennsylvania. There's over 3,000 miles of hiking trails in Pennsylvania, the most famous of which is the Appalachian Trail. There's 52 local organizations that belong to the Keystone Trails Association, and many of those local clubs maintain the Appalachian Trail. Right now we're working on restoring the Iron Mountains Mansion in Pine Grove. Uh, currently there's three college students and we're the head of the program. We're looking for fundraising and we're also trying to discover the history of Pine Grove through the through work here. Um, hopefully we'll restore the house and be done by April of 2011 with help from the community. Uh, the house is really actually amazing as part of the Underground Railroad. It was um, the head of the Iron Masters and three families who lived there. We're slowly getting in contact with a lot of the people who created the history there to find out more. Kurt, there's a sit 